Alert meteorologist Lisa Viegas joining us now. So Lisa, what do we expect as we head back to work tomorrow? Dry conditions. <laughs> too. I know we're all really looking forward to that. I want to start off with a satellite and radar view because I know last week was very rainy, including yesterday. Yesterday evening it was pretty intense. Well, now we can quiet things down a little bit. Now on top of it being quiet for most of us, still dealing with some snow and that's going to continue on and off throughout the evening, especially those higher elevations like ash over to Watauga down to Avery County winter weather advisory in effect. We've got these wind advisories, which pretty much continue for all of those higher elevations. This is where we can expect gusts up to around 50 miles an hour in total around one to three inches for those three counties. We've got those high wind speeds, the potential of gusts up to 50 miles an hour, not only this evening, but continuing through tomorrow morning, expiring right around 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now the rest of us, we are still going to be dealing with some breezy conditions. So when we're waking up timestamp here right around nine o'clock, gusts potentially up to around 20 miles. 25 miles an hour. That's going to be just enough as those temperatures fall for it to feel pretty chilly tomorrow morning. The good news is everything relaxes in the afternoon and then we'll get back to normal, but then those temperatures begin to plunge. Actual temperatures. This is what it's going to feel like, our wind chills. So tomorrow morning when you're heading out the door, actual temperatures are going to be up in the upper 30s, but it's going to feel like it's freezing when we add in the wind speed. So yes, it's going to be pretty cold. Bundle up later on in the afternoon. Those temperatures rebound into the mid and lower 50s. Remember, we were in the mid 60s today. Big temperature swing because we had a cold front that just pushed through. And that's why we're one seeing those wind speeds and the cooler weather. So today we woke up to a temperature of 50 degrees. Now we're getting ready for the 30s and that 64 degree temperature dropping 10 degrees. This is going to be the theme here this week. A little cooler. Yes but at least we're going to have the dry weather and more sunshine getting back to normal. So look at those high temperatures across the board, pretty much mid 50s for most locations. We've got those lower 50s in the foothills, mid 30s in the higher elevations like the mountains. So watching for those temperatures there as we get ready for some of that precipitation. Now through the week, these temperatures are going to adjust, but overall in the 50s, we do have some showers kind of lingering around early Wednesday morning, and that's because of this new setup that we're going to get ready for. This low pressure system's going to pick up some showers, not necessarily just for us here in Charlotte, but across parts of the Carolinas, not quite as impactful as last week. But as we fast forward, you can see those showers really picking up overnight. So Tuesday, Wednesday morning, we'll probably see more of that mountain snow lingering through tomorrow or excuse me, Wednesday morning, and then we begin to slowly start to clear out. So here's a look at your seven day forecast, giving you some time to absorb this tomorrow morning, upper 30s, mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. And remember we talked about how those wind speeds relax. Well, Tuesday morning, we're back to freezing. And then by Tuesday afternoon, temperatures lower 50s. And then we're going to get ready for those showers briefly rolling through the area. Then we completely clear out by the end of the work week. Into the weekend we go dry on Saturday. That's the day to make plans. Sunday, starting to see some showers later on in the day. That's a look at your seven day forecast. We'll be right back.